Now Lagos residents can now interact effectively with the representatives in the legislative chamber through a live social media platform recently unveiled by the legislative arm of government. According to the speaker, the platforms which include Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and its website would afford residents the opportunity to ask questions about the assembly as well as receive answers. Ultimately, our aim is to have uh, our own uh, television platform that uh, virtually Lagosians will be able to follow our plenary sessions and our committee activities as they go on. But in the meantime, we are at least uh, uh, gratified that we have uh, initiated and uh, launched the uh, virtual applications uh, system program whereby all the social media and all uh, the streaming and uh, uh, other applications of the activities and functions of the House of Assembly, especially at plenary sessions. Membership of the citizenry to be aware and to be involved in what we do. Uh, it's not just uh, whatever has to be done must be done and must be manifestly seen to be done. It must be seen to be done, manifestly, patently, clearly, lucidly, succinctly seen to be done. Not just done, or you say you are doing it. Let the people know. The people are the masters. They are the sovereign powers. They are the people that delegated us to the House of Assembly. So they have to monitor us. They have to be aware of the way we go about these functions and duties. It's, it's, it's on already. It's ongoing. It's, 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 it's been launched. The, the Right Honorable Speaker, Mudo Ashiro has, uh, uh, has uh, declared those platforms effective as from the eighth day of June 2016 when the eighth assembly marked the first year in office. So it's been on. It's when you feel us now anywhere on all those applications and I've tested the platforms. All of them are working effectively and I'm happy with that. The destruction of streetlight poles and other security infrastructures such as this installed by the Lagos State Government to safeguard lives and properties of residents in the state has become a source of worry to the Lagos State House of Assembly. The issue was recently brought on the matters of urgent public importance at the plenary by the Majority Leader of the House, Honorable Sanai Agumbiade. Most of these um, street lights have been knocked down. These were purchased with taxpayers' money. And to that extent, that swear's money is being wasted. What is more bothering, worrisome, is that most of these vehicles that knock, out, knock down these street lights usually go unapprehended. If you look at between mile 12 to Onikpan, we have barricade erected by the state government just to deter uh, people from crossing the express because they are provided uh, bridge as well. But today, many of these have been destroyed by some unscrupulous elements. Some of these things as we got, are so glaring and naked to the eye. I would just have to do something courageously to stop people from this impunity that has become a characteristic feature of Nigerians. We need to uh, work up our security agencies to live up to responsibilities. Thank you. People should take ownership and at the same time we should, we should not really end the people arrested you know, at the police uh, hands. We should pursue them to the point of being prosecuted so that they can really serve as a sort of deterrent to others. I think there should be commissioning of this project. While commissioning people will participate and in the process they can be educated and reason why they should also be part and support government in protecting all these items. Welcome to our personality interview segment called My Stewardship. Asset Light is on the lawmaker representing Ali Moshe Constituency 1 in the Lagos State House of Assembly, Honorable B.C. Yusuf. 